Hi everyone, it's my you smell of geraniums. You've been in the bushes in the garden again, haven't you? Eh. You smell like the insides of my mother's handbag. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You're just a bit whiffy. <laughs> I've got a scented dog. <sighs> Whew, that really is a strong smell. Anyway, um, as I was just about to say, um, it's Mike here and Mr Bentley. Um, now, if people didn't think I was strange enough, this next quick project really is going to confirm it for them. So, let the strange and weirdness commence. So this is a new digi collage set that I've just called Brains. I know. Um, large brain, smaller brain, image, Sentiment, brains are awesome, most everyone had one. You have a brain in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Dr. Seuss, I presume. And follow your heart, but take your brains with you in different formats on the sheets. Now, there are four sheets to this set. Um, the fourth one I've already converted into a quick top folding card to send to somebody. Yeah. Cute, quirky, and quite fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an art journal page, um, but I'm going to use, um, even though this large sized brain uh, will fit on that um, 8 inch by 8 inch circle page for my circle journal, I'm actually going to use the smaller one because I want to be able to use um, my little grey cells stencil, which is perfect for the brains, as you can see. Um, in the background. So I want to use different colours and kind of build up a rainbowy kind of effect on there and then use the sentiment, well which one, I don't know, I can't decide which one to use yet but we'll work that out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out with Avec scissors. So boring process, I'll just jump to the bit where I've already done it. So the brain is now cut out. I have watering can I carveling. And I'm just going to just go around the edge just to disguise any areas where my cutting out wasn't perfect. That's okay for that. I've also cut out um, irregularly, as you can see, um, the sentiment that goes with that. So the brains are awesome. So I'm going to put those to one side. I'm not going to go around the edges of those to create a border on them. I want them to leave those white for now. So the page, eight inch watercolour cardstock. It's uh, 140 pound or 300 GSM, Windsor and Newton. It's cold pressed, not hard pressed, hard pressed, hot pressed, what's on my brain. Um, and this is my Little Grey Cells stencil, which is available on my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some, um, some inks, some archival inks. And I want to introduce some nice kind of colours into the background here. So I'm going to go and grab some bright colours. I'm going to get maybe an orange and some yellows and that kind of stuff to try and build a really nice background. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got saffron. I've got tiger lily. I've brought in rose madder for a touch of pink, which ties in with the pink of the brain. I know brains are supposed to be grey. Artistic license and then carnation red. So these are the colours I'm going to use to build up my background. Now the here I may not use all four. I may not. Who can say? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of that yellow one down, the saffron down, and then I'm going to build up the background. So this is going to be a little bit repetitive, so I will put this on fast forward so you can class this as a hybrid video of real time with a little bit of sped up.
Okay. So, <laughs> this is, Ian's just walked in and gone, what's that? <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> I have my kind of brainy, brainy background. So, I'm now going to bring this in. Now you can see how the colours kind of now start to blend together-ish. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just grab that rose madder. And then just take a little bit of that and then just add that around the edge just to kind of tie it in a little bit more. Now I printed this um, using an inkjet printer. So because I'm using archival ink, it's not going to affect the print. There we go. Just kind of brings it all together. Sort of. Okay, so next thing, I've got a little bit of scrap down the side. So I'm just going to cut a small strip out there. And then I'm going to fold that in half. Doesn't matter how big this is. And then I'm just going to snip off the corners so that when I open it up again, I've got a kind of um, bow tie effect, but that's not what it's there for. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn that over and then I'm going to put some glue on there. So this is the stuff that's got that little bit of wiggle room. And then I'm going to do that and I'm going to just stick it just so it's up against the edge. Like that. Just move it around so it's more in the middle. Perfect. And then add some glue onto the back of that. Just onto the back. And then I'm just going to stick that down in place on my journal page. And then I'm going to leave that to dry for a second or two. So now we have a flip top lid. <laughs> so while that's there, I'm going to grab this. Brains are awesome. And I did say I wasn't going to go around the edge, but I've just changed my mind. I'm going to use that rose madder again, just because we've put it around the outside. So just to tie everything together. And remember, art journal pages don't have to be everything but the kitchen sink on them. They can be as minimalistic as you want. An art journal page is there for you to express what you're thinking and feeling. So this is exactly what I'm feeling or was feeling when I created this digi kit. So that's in place. And then I'm going to put this, do the same just to tie it all together. around the edge. Glue. And then I'm going to lift the flap up and then that is just going to go underneath. So that now reads, brains are awesome. I wish everyone had one. 
Now if I wanted to, I could then decorate the back of that just by adding some more of that colour. So that's what I am going to do. Now uh, what I could do, just to mask it off, have I got a piece of scrap paper? Yeah, a couple of pieces of scrap. And I'll drop that underneath so that I'm not getting much of that on the inside. And then we can just move that round. A different form of whimsy. There you go. So art journal pages don't have to be serious. They don't have to be all roses or butterflies or girls with long flowing hair. You can make an art journal page. Do and say whatever you want. It's your page. Do what you want to do with it. And if you pardon my language, to hell with everybody else. You know, this is the one kind of art that you do for you and no one else. So play, do your own thing. I do. That's it, I'm not doing any more to that now. I'm happy. So I'm going to sign it, if I can find a pen. Or should I sign it underneath? Sign it on the back. Ah, <gasps> pen doesn't work. Shocking behaviour. Let's try number five. That'll do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there you go, job done. So, yes, a bit quirky, a bit strange, but that's just me all over. Perfect for everyday use, for cards, and also could be used for Halloween too. Don't you think? What do you think? Probably. Yeah, I thought so. It's all from us for now. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>